this is our one room school house demo for math. And so it's going to be have a six year old, eight year old, nine year old, and an eleven year old. Okay. And so I've written an expression on the board and let everyone copy it. What we have is three, open parentheses, four plus seven, close parentheses, minus three plus three squared times a thousand to the zero power. And so who knows, what does it mean when I have three and then a parentheses beside it? What does that mean? It actually means times, right? And the time sign is left out. We just write three and then a parentheses, but we know that that's what it means. We're going to multiply there. Now, when we have an expression, how do we know where do we start? We just start at the beginning and work for our way across? No. No. What, how do we start? So first we have brackets if we have them, and parentheses. then parentheses, parentheses. And then exponents, exponents. Or, roots. or roots, and multiply and divide, multiply and divide, and plus and minus, okay, and left, left to right. right, and then left to right, okay. All right, so we'll we'll go, and this will be our hierarchy. So what's the first thing we need to do, Kellen? Parentheses. You have parentheses first. Jeb, what does it say inside our parentheses? Uh, 4 plus 7 is 11. 4 plus 7 is 11. So we'll write down 11. And we've got 3. We'll rewrite our whole expression. Okay, what are we going to do next? We're going to do parentheses again. Yeah, let's X go ahead and take care of our um, 11, parentheses. Oh, 3 times 11? Okay, we can go ahead and do 3 times 11. Which would be 33. Okay. Okay, what are we going to do next? Uh, 3 squared and 1,000 to the 0 pound. All right, so what three is, squared. what's 3 squared? What does 3 squared mean? Three know what it means? times, um, a number times itself. Right, so 3 squared means 3 times, times three. 3. Aubrey, is what's 3 no, times 3? 3 times 3, I think, no, eight. Eight. No, no, three no. times three is nine. That's right. So well, let's put nine there. I know what a thousand to the zero power is. Okay. Well, let's get to that one next. All right. So what does our order of operations tell us we have to do exponents. next? Okay. We need to do. We need to continue to do our exponents. What is a thousand to the zero power? One. One is right. And what is um. How do we know that a thousand to the zero power is one? Because anything to the zero power is anything one. Anything to the zero power. That's it right. It could be negative that's four. Good. So that's a one. Two. Okay. Let's rewrite our expression. And what do we do next? Um, Aubrey, can you look and tell us what we have left and what we have to do next? Let's do it has to be 33 minus 3. Can we do that yet, though? Mm -hmm. We still have something that's higher up on the list. What do a we have? times and divide. We have a times. Right, we have a times. So we have to do that first. Nine. So what's nine times one, Jeb? Nine times one. If we have one nine, how much do we have? Let's try to skip out by skip count by nines. Nine. nine. Oh, all we want's one. So that's it. Nine. Okay. So it's nine. So nine times one is nine. Okay. So now three, what do we three, do? Minus three. Okay, so now all we have left are add and subtract, and so we can just add and subtract going from left to right. So what is 33 take away 3? 30. 30. 30. And 30 plus 9? 39. Is 39. Good job. So that is our answer. We've simplified our equation from this to this, following the order of operations. Okay, next, I want everybody to draw a triangle on your board. I want you to make it a special triangle, though. I want it to be a right triangle. Who knows what it means if we have a right triangle? It has to have one right angle. It has one right angle. And a right angle is like, it's like this. 90 degrees. Perpendicular, yeah. Okay, so everybody draw a right triangle on your board. And then I want you to label, well when I say triangle, what do you remember about a triangle? It has three sides. Triangle has three sides, okay. What else? No curves. Okay, no curves. Anybody know what the um, area of a triangle is? Uh, the uh, area of a triangle is one half base, base times height. height. One half base times height. So I want you to label your triangle with a base of um, five centimeters. And I want 
want you to label this leg right here, um, I want you to label it uh, 8 centimeters. Mommy, I can't do it. I just do the do best it. you can. Just do the best you can. Okay? And we're just making up numbers, so I hear we're gonna we're just gonna put in a number that's gonna be easy, and I realize this is not actually Ten. according to Pythagorean theorem, so we'll just it'll be okay. Alright? So now we have five centimeters, eight centimeters, and ten centimeters. Okay. What is the base of this triangle? What would you like to use as the base of this triangle? Five. Okay, five. It goes right across five. So let's use five. We're gonna figure out the area. So area equals one half times that five, which is our base, which is five centimeters, times the height. How high is this centimeter? Is this triangle? Eight. eight centimeters. It's eight centimeters. Why do you write eight for um, one half? Um, I wrote a for area. Area equals one half the base times the height. Oh. Okay. So now let's go ahead and figure out what is our area. Area is one half times what's five centimeters times eight centimeters. So first, let's just multiply our numbers together. What's five times eight, Kellen? Do you know? Um, five times eight. It is. Wait. Uh oh. Who remembers it? Forty. Forty is great. Good job. It's 40, and now, what is centimeters times centimeters? Centimeters squared. Centimeters squared, that's right. Now, when we have one half times 40, that's saying what is half of 40? 20 centimeters squared. All right, so that's 20 centimeters squared. And that's the area of a triangle. So generally every day in math we like to go through one expression, how to simplify, and then we like to take one geometric um, shape and we work out area or perimeter or something like that. Thank you. We did it. Hey, 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 hey cameraman. Hey.